स्केलर एंड वैक्टर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वैक्टर्स स्केलर प्रोडक्ट इफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वैक्टर्स गिवज अ स्केलर क्वान्टिटी इट्स कॉल्ड एज स्केलर प्रोडक्ट इट्स फिजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ वन वैक्टर एंड द कंपोनेंट ऑफ सेकेंड वैक्टर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फर्स्ट वैक्टर If we consider these two as the corresponding vectors and having an angle theta in between them in the first figure if we resolve b with respect to a we get b cos theta the component of b in the direction of a and in the second case if we resolve a in the direction of uh, with respect to b we get a cos theta the component of a which is along b so keeping in view this physical interpretation a dot b will be equal to a into b cos theta and b dot a will be equal to b into a cos theta as the right sides of both these equations are scalar so we can say that a dot b is equal to b dot a because both these terms are equal to one another irrespective of this their order of multiplication so that clarifies that scalar product obeys the commutative pro property examples of scalar product are work power electric flux and magnetic flux these are the scalar product of force and displacement force and velocity electric field and vector area magnetic field and vector area on the other hand vector product is the product of two vectors which gives out a vector quantity it's find out by the product of magnitude of one vector and the component of second vector which is perpendicular to first vector this time we get the perpendicular components this becomes ab sin theta and ba sin theta the right sides on both the uh, in the equations are vectors with different opposite magnitudes n and uh, minus n and n which clarifies that a cross b is not equal to b cross a so they do not obey the commutative property examples are torque angular momentum and magnetic force Thank you